There's something a little bit different, but interesting nonetheless. Today I'm going to build and test an artificial intelligence box. Powered by a Raspberry Pi 3 and built using a kit that comes with the latest issue of Magpie. Once done, we're going to test its metal with the most fundamental question in the universe. Stick around if you want to hear this most elusive question ever devised answered. Otherwise, this all should serve as a sort of quick guide to building the little question box. First off, take these little racist, I mean, white things and rape. God damn it. I mean, insert them into the slots opposite the pins as shown. Next, take the hat board and depress the pie with it, covering all its culture and keeping it down by lining the pins up with the socket and firmly snapping them together along with the racist sexual assault plugs. We then want to take the Ghetto Blaster-esque speaker for banging tunes and slide each wire into the blue connector as shown, and then screw the clamps down against its will. Now, Take the longer of the two included cables and push it into the 4 pin slot followed by the short cable into the 5 pin. Yeah, you like that, don't you bitch? It's time to build an echo chamber to keep all opposing ideas out and prevent anything from escaping. This is fairly simple, start with the tab labelled 1 and fold and do the rest in order finally slipping the extended tab inside the gap while telling it to say your name because it's a dirty little box. This bit is a tad more fiddly. Fold tabs 1 and 2 upward, then push the cutout tab down and tell it to stay down if it knows what's good for it. Then fold the end tab so it is flat with the opposite end and resembles a sex slave on its knees begging for more. After that you need to slip your rocking speaker into the gap created when we push the cutout tab down, being sure to make it a snug fit. Penis joke. Lining up the USB ports on the Pi with the flap labelled 2, <laughs> flap, and making sure the lowest part of the tab slides between the ports and the upper board. Time to fit everything into the oppression cage snugly. We achieve this by first lining up the speaker with the seven holes on the box, assuring everything in the unit is compact together to make sure nothing snags. It should fit nice and fairly snug. The sexism button is next. It's called that because it's an arcade machine style button and as we all know, every single gamer is a massive woman hating bigot. So anything associated with them is automatically a terrible person, even if it is just a button. Unscrew the nut from the body. My body, my choice does not apply here. Remove the washer as well. Insert the unit through the fun hole on top of the box, then slide the washer back on, followed by the nut. The last piece of the puzzle is the switch and lamp combo. I've largely run out of sexual innuendos at this point, so I'm just going to say clitoris. Take the bulb and push the end without the LED on it into the circular slot on the weirdly shaped black dealie. I'm terribly sorry to use such technical terms for those struggling to keep up. Probably the most annoying part is attaching this to the switch. You need to line up the little nubs with the holes. I would use a rape joke at this point, but I think it would be a little forced, so I won't. No, the only force you'll want to be using is to get this into place as I've shown. It's a bit tricky, but if you can do it the same way I've done here, it should be fine, like your mama. We're going to connect up all the wires to their appropriate points now. If you're using this video as a guide, please don't bother telling me when you fuck up. I know that this is the most pointless video ever. Once you are done, insert the now connected up switch to the button by pushing them together and firmly snapping into place. This might be a bit of a pain and require a fair amount of force as mine wasn't a perfect fit so yours might not be either. Mileage may vary. Finally, line up the microphone with the two holes under the button and make sure the text on the board is the right way up and fix it into place using pretty much any sort of tape that you have to hand, so long as it's reasonably strong, like the patriarchy. Close up and you're done. Apart from the 8 million things you have to do to get the damn thing to actually work, but there's no way I'm going to go into that here. Just follow these instructions and I'm sure you'll figure it out. Probably. 
So here we are with the finished product. What important question am I going to ask to test its ability as a true artificial intelligence? Are traps gay? I don't understand. Useless. 10 out of 10. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked this sick tech video, let me know. I might do some similar content in the future. This was fun to do, and I hope it was at least not completely intolerable to watch. Catch you in the next video, bitches. Bye!